I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna. Before we get started with today's exciting cleaning motivation video, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. As you can see, in today's video, we are going to be tackling my nasty, disgusting, oddly shaped laundry room. But before we dive into this cleaning, organizing, decluttering motivation, today's video is in collaboration with an awesome lady here on YouTube. Her name is Irma, and I will go ahead and let her tell you a little bit more about herself and her channel. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Irma. I am a married mother of four, and over here on my channel, you'll find lots of cleaning motivation, mama lifestyle vlogs, home decor, and so much more. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure to check the description box down below for my channel link once you're done watching this video. And if you guys would like to watch some more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, Irma, so much for doing this collab with me. And if you are new coming from Irma's channel, I just want to say welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. And I hope you will consider liking and subscribing to become part of my YouTube family. As you already heard, my name is Jenna. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom to two littles. I have three dogs. I post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tons of cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, DIY projects with my husband, anything motherhood, lifestyle, and the occasional vlog. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I really hope that you will consider subscribing. I have been really wanting to deep clean, organize, and declutter this laundry room for a really, really long time now, but I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to do it, how I wanted it to look, and it took me a little bit to figure it out, and so I'm really glad that I decided to conquer this and do it. I have been, you know, like cleaning it over time, but I have not really organized it since probably the last time I filmed a video of me cleaning and organizing this laundry room. Like I said, I've cleaned it, but I just have not really, really organized it. And it's been a really long time. So this was well needed for sure. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it Cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign Baby give me a sign Give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in I know a lot of you are probably wondering why there are dog beds in this laundry room and if my dogs sleep and stay in here. So the answer to that question is yes and no. So if you are a newer subscriber or if you're new here, you do not know that I have three dogs. One of them is a big 110 pound mutt and he does not sleep in here. And then I have two Pembroke Welsh Corgis. So my one Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Cash, he will chew up anything and everything if you leave him out by himself overnight. He has chewed up my rug. He has chewed up multiple toys. Just anything he can get his hands on, he hands on. Anything he can get his mouth on, he will chew on it. So when we go to bed at night, he comes in here. As you see, there's tons of space. Sometimes we put a toy in here for him. And then my other Corgi Jr., the older one, sometimes he just comes in here in the middle of the day and just goes in there and lays down to get away from the kids. Because both Savannah and Maverick, 
will well, Maverick will crawl and chase him, and Savannah will just chase him around. So it's a little place for him to get away from the other dogs and from the kids because he is going to be, I believe, seven years old this year. Yeah, he's going to be seven. He's turning into a little old man, so it is the perfect spot for him to get away. If any of you have a dog or dogs, do you guys have them like in a kennel? Do they sleep in your room? Let me know in the comments down below. I am very curious. None of the dogs sleep up in any of our beds anymore. Rudy used to sleep with our daughter and he does not anymore because he has had an accident. He has thrown up upstairs and yeah. So I'm just not about that. So no dogs are allowed upstairs because it is carpeted upstairs. And yeah, you kind of get the picture in your head. So give me sun, ah, 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 ah. could go for this, no more tricks, we could take things slow Say, you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with, that I should be We've been on and off again and again as you guys see, there's a whole bunch of random stuff on this shelf. A lot of shoes, really, because I've said it before and I'll say it again. This house just doesn't have a lot of storage space. And with Maverick crawling around all over the house, I don't want him putting the shoes in his mouth. That just grosses me out. So we just throw them up there. And that is why these bins are perfect. I saw these bins at Meyer, and I believe I got them for four, $4.50 each, which is a really good deal. And as you see, I got four of them, two white, two blue. So the two white ones, one is for me, one is for Savannah, and then the blue ones are for Zach and Maverick. Maverick's is currently empty, but I wanted to go ahead and get him a bin since he will be wearing shoes starting this year when he turns one. Oh, that makes me so sad. I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby just give me a sign just give me one more talking to you and here we go again staying up all night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here i want to go all in so give me a sign wondering why I have my cleaners in here and I have them in here because I ran out of space underneath my sink that might sound like I have like a cleaning solution problem <laughs> but I think it's just safer to have them up here away from the kids we also have extra spray paint we have our paint we have the kids outdoor toys and then back in that corner there is a box from our old house like a junk drawer box and I couldn't reach it and I just really wasn't in the mood to declutter it I knew that there was a whole bunch of crap from our junk drawer in there and I don't know. I didn't feel like going through it. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, so my question is, do you guys have like a room ish like this? You know what I mean? I don't know, like an everything room. As you saw, like from the bottom shelf, I have all of our detergents, the cat food, the dog food. So let me know where you guys store stuff. Like, do you guys have random places like or a room that you kind of try to put everything in? I think that's what I'm trying to ask. Let me know in the comments down below if you know what I'm saying. Stay there is no
All right, you guys, and that is going to be it for today's video. I am so happy with the results. I swear, bins make a difference. Bins are everything. I want every closet to have bins in it. Like, be prepared because you guys are going to be seeing bins everywhere in my house in upcoming videos. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. Make sure you guys head over to Irma's channel as soon as you guys finish up this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool